Good morning ladies and gentlemen and you join me in a Rolls Royce car. Yes, this is my first time driving, well not driving yet actually, but um, in a Rolls Royce and I'm on the way to the media day for the new release of the Rolls Royce Ghost which I'm super excited about not only because it's Rolls Royce but because it's an event happening in 2020 in COVID what? yeah Rolls Royce have put a lot of effort to make sure everyone is safe everyone is looked after that we are not going to be at any risk and um, I'm very very excited to be a part of this today so we're literally heading down to Goodwood right now um, just going through some of the wonderful, beautiful roads here in the south of England and uh, yeah, I'm going to get a chance to drive the car to check it out and uh, see what all of this new direction perhaps that Rolls Royce are taking potentially trying to attract a new audience, a new demographic to the, to the brand anyway, let's go I'm here at Rolls Royce in Goodwood and um, I've already been and I've seen a few things. We've been going through uh, some of the kind of technical and design aspects of the Ghost, which is in this building behind me. And um, we're now about to go and drive the cars. But before I got in the car, I wanted to just nip back in to get you guys some of the footage because I haven't been able to do that yet. Although we've got some B-roll, which I'm going to insert all through this video, um, that the video crews have already made, I wanted to get some stuff of my own as well. So we're going to go in there and see what's up show you guys the first look at the new ghost. So here we have the brand new Rolls Royce Ghost. First impressions are wow, this is beautiful and luckily the doors have just been opened so we can actually have a little look inside. But like I said we're going to go outside in a minute and actually drive one. I wanted to show you guys a few key parts of what I think makes this car so amazing. So, this grille is very subtly illuminated from the top up here. And there's different textures. So we've got like a matte texture on the underside so that it isn't as a sharp um, a light. So it comes down in a much more kind of subtle way compared to on this side, which is polished off nicely. The other thing is this paint, right? This pinstripe is not a sticker. That is hand painted from there all the way down the car. And then the other detail, which I love, which I'm going to hopefully try and pick up, is that. So when they designed the car, they found that water came down here and could potentially fall into the cabin. Obviously we can't have that. So the designers created this tiny little lip. Is aluminium? Yeah, uh, that's steel. That. Steel. On this steel pillar going over the top, and they found that if they put this tiny little gap in there, the water gets trapped, doesn't go onto the glass, doesn't go into the cabin. And I, that subtle, you would never really notice it, but I think it looks amazing. And this, I, like the polished, polished steel is such a good look, like, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna head outside now. We're gonna go drive the car. I'll show you the inside when we're in the car as well but actually just very impressed so far. All right, here we go. So we've got the ghost behind me and as you can see, no one's in the driver's seat. Okay, that is where I'm going to be sat. Um, let's jump in now, have a little look inside the car. <sighs> so, oh, those seats are soft. They are super soft. Let's have a little look. So straight in front of me, we can see the Rolls Royce badge, the instrument dash, and then up front there, we've got the spirit of ecstasy. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this walnut. And that's not been lacquered, so you can feel the grain 
it's amazing absolutely amazing it's the small details in this car which i think are fantastic when you look at that the embossed spirit of ecstasy in the single leather look at that single leather all the way through down to all the way down there that's one piece of unmarked leather ghost in the dash and you guys will probably know look at that the roof liner and into the back right I don't want to show you too much of this we're gonna actually get driving let's go I am so excited first time driving driving first time driving a Rolls Royce shut the door soft close and everything amazing <laughs> let's go Okay, so first impressions of the brand new Rolls-Royce Ghost. This is my first time driving. We've just left Rolls-Royce factory in Goodwood. And I mean, it's so smooth, like uncannily smooth, easy to drive. I don't feel intimidated whatsoever. This is a massive, expensive, beautiful car and it is super simple and easy to drive, very smooth. Um, granted, I'm being quite cautious going through the road narrowing there <laughs> because I'm still getting used to how wide it is. But I mean, it doesn't feel heavy. The steering is light, it's almost effortless. I could probably drive it like this. Um, so we are currently on our way to the first stop on the journey, uh, which I think we're gonna get some coffee at and it's just going to give me an opportunity to test the car a little bit now obviously this isn't a full review this is really just me having a first view, first look and seeing what i think of the car and the i mean the driving a rolls royce we've got the spirit of xc right at the front here it's it's right next to the heads up display so actually as i'm talking to you guys i've got the satellite navigation in front of me which makes it super easy to to navigate through i'm going to come through and it's just the interesting thing and uh, I mean we're in an automatic car right but it's not just an automatic it's satellite guided gear changes so it's connected to the satellite up in the sky and it knows what's happening and then it chooses the right gear based on what's about to come up in front of you where you are in the world what the road conditions are like all of this so that you have the smoothest and most relaxed drive possible that i mean you wouldn't want anything quite as vulgar as a sharp jolt when you come to a roundabout would you as you downshift it's just smooth it's the rolls royce magic carpet ride and I've heard many people talk about this. Does not disappoint. Brake as we come up to a cyclist around the outside on the accelerator. He's using only less than 40%. That was 40% of the power of the engine then. And it just oh, picks up very nicely. You're, you're right, like as we're getting onto more twisty stuff, we're not, we're driving a little bit more assertively little bit heavier on the throttle and the car does carry you it, it, it changes it it adapts to the situation it's very how do I describe it it's like you're not actually it's intuitive so self the car is doing all of these changes for you in a very intuitive way oh wow that's physics defying. That is. That is physics defying. <laughs> Going around that corner then, it it didn't bend. I didn't it's a big car. This is a big, big car, and it just simply glides effortlessly, but with purpose. I've got a little bit of a bump here. <sighs> what bump? Almost non-existent. The suspension is fantastic. I have never experienced anything like this before. And I imagine I won't again for a very long time. I can't think of any car that would even come close to this 
It'd have to be another rose, wouldn't it? Oh, what a day. The way that the car accelerates off the line is smooth, a surge of power, just constant. It is very much like an electric motor in the way that it feels. It doesn't feel like you've got a big turbo on it where you've got no power low down and then you all of a sudden get thrown into the seat. It's from very low revs. That power just pushes you in the back and you just accelerate through. And you don't feel the gear changes clunking around. It's just like this one effortless power surge through your back down the road and puts a massive smile on your face. <laughs> but then you calm down and it gets super relaxing and tranquil. This car is not your typical Rolls-Royce, is it? It's not what the brand is necessarily known for, that almost Jekyll and Hyde, but I think that evidently it does both very well. Oh, oh that is special. Oh, 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 oh. oh that gives my heart a really warm feeling <laughs> like i drive motorbikes quite a lot it's a very different sensation completely different that it really is this is like a like a like a pushing in, in your back moving forward and it's not like my head is being whipped back it's like this linear progression of speed and power and feeling and emotion rather than like grip and rip on a motorbike where you're just holding on for dear life. That is just amazing. <laughs> oh, this is so special. This car is so special. Like actually a, a bit of a boyhood dream to be driving. I, I never thought in my life that I would drive a Rolls Royce. To be sat here doing this right now is like incredibly special for me. It's what a piece of engineering everything all the details uh, even the stitching that we were talking about with simon in the in the in the design side of it how perfect this the stitching is across the front like all those little details of refinement within the car is what makes this such an incredible piece of engineering of design it's just it's not just getting a to b is it it's like an entire experience and emotion to do that you can see why people do it and it's it's just if you can why would you not <laughs>